in this problem let us start like you know let us uh, try to calculate induced voltage okay from this problem onwards we will come to know how to calculate distribution factor how to calculate pitch factor and how to calculate like you know induced voltage how to calculate in induced voltage how many number of turns are there per phase okay series connected turns and all we will come to know so in this problem a three phase 10 pole star connected alternator runs at 600 rpm it has 120 slots with eight conductors per slot and conductors in each phase are connected in series find phase and line emf if flux per pole is 56 millivolts what harmonics due to slot might occur in phase and line voltages what harmonics what harmonics will occur due to slot okay so i may not be able to explain like you know in detail i may not be able to analyze in this but i will tell you how to calculate okay now see here what is induced voltage has to be calculated right find the phase and line voltages we have to calculate okay in this what is induced voltage in transformers the same equation so induced voltage equal to root 2 pi f pi max in transformer pi average here root 2 pi f pi number of series connected turns okay and kp kd Winding factor, okay, means see here frequency has to be found, number of series connected turns has to be found per phase. This is going to be per phase voltage, okay. Kp kd has to be found. Now about Kp, did they give any information? See, about short pitching angle, they did not give any information. So the, the moment they did not give any information about short pitching angle epsilon, this will be one okay now after that distribution factor about like you know, did they give any information about distribution factor no so can i take distribution factor as one no distribution factor has to be calculated separately now distribution factor will be decided by see here out of total many slots per pole per pole if this is pole area per pole how many slots are there per phase has to be calculated if it is more than one means that distribution you have to consider so let me calculate q which is nothing but slots per pole per phase so how many slots are there 120 slots are there so 120 slots divided by divided by like you know poles are going to be 10 and number of phases are equal to 4 slots per pole per phase equal to 4 so per pole 4 uh, what is a slots are available for the distribution for the distribution okay now after that means 4 uh, slots are available means that like we have to calculate distribution factor now how to calculate distribution factor distribution factor equal to sine q gamma by 2 by q sine gamma by 2 okay what is q slots per pole per phase what is gamma we have to calculate gamma is going to be slot angle okay how to calculate slot angle okay now how many poles are there 10 poles are there now per pole how many electrical degrees will be there 180 degrees for example if i have one pole here okay so means this is going to be n pole this is going to be s pole two poles are there okay now this is going to be stator okay so for example from here my conductor if one pole is passed in this is as of now induced voltage zero after 90 degrees induced voltage in maximum after 90 degrees induced voltage will be zero again so zero to positive maximum to zero is going to be 180 degrees so for example if i have four poles n yes n yes okay so for example let me take my conductor here okay it means let me rotate my poles as of now how much is the induced voltage zero because it is at a mna now after 45 degrees you it's going to get maximum positive after 45 degrees it's going to get uh, what is a zero okay so by the time one pole is passed see here so if conductor is here from here if i move 90 degrees mechanically means that electrically 180 degrees okay so i told you previously also every time we are going to consider electrical angle only okay so slot angle is going to be gamma is going to be 
okay per pole how many electrical degrees will be there 180 so how many poles are there 10 so 10 poles into per pole 180 degrees total degrees per slot okay so per slot in the sense how many slots are there 120 120 slots are there okay so how much is the slot angle 15 degrees 15 degrees now we are ready to calculate like you know distribution factor so sine q4 into gamma 15 by 2 by 4 sine 15 by 2 okay is going to give you 0 0.957 okay 0 0.957 now kd is calculated root 2 pi anyway we know frequency has to be calculated now let us calculate frequency so how much is frequency f equal to p n by 120 right or n equal to 120 f by p so how many number of poles are there 10 how much speed uh, of rotation of the rotor is going to be 600 rpm so 600 rpm divided by 120 is going to give you 50 h okay so means frequency also we found so we are all set to calculate induced voltage per phase so root 2 into pi into frequency is 50 h into flux is 56 millivolts so 56 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into focus dear here all of you how many number of turns will be there per phase how many number of turns will be there per phase okay see like you know we are going to have for example total number of slots see dear all of you try to visualize rather than remembering the things okay so for example this is going to be stator in stator total number of slots total number of slots okay multiplied by conductors in each slot kind of because means slot 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 all slots are there okay so total number of slots okay so total number of slots multiplied by in each slot how many conductors are there if you see total number of conductors you are going to find now total number of conductors in an alternator divided by 2 will give you number of turns now divided by 3 will give you per phase number of turns okay so means total number of slots are 120 multiplied by how many conductors are there per slot 8 conductors per slot so this is going to be 8 conductors per slot so 8 conductors per slot into number of uh, slots will give you total number of conductors into 1 by 2 number of turns into 1 by 3 per phase okay so is going to be nsc multiplied by kp1 because they did not give any information about short pitching angle multiplied by kd is going to be 0 0.957 okay so 0 0.957 which will give you 1905.8 volts okay so this is going to be phase voltage now let me calculate line voltage okay so if i want to calculate line voltage how much is line voltage it is connected in star okay so the moment it is connected in star we calculated already per phase voltage okay so per line voltage will be how much root 3 root 3 into phase voltage so how much is this root 3 into phase voltage is 1905.8 volts which will give you 3300 volts or 3.3 kb okay so that is over line voltage and after that like you know he is asking about the harmonics developed due to slots till now in gate exam they are yet to ask this maybe most probably they can ask soon okay so means how much how many like you know which type of harmonics will be dominated in slots okay so because of slots as of now i cannot as usual explain in detail but we will be able to answer this just remember this so in like you know h type of harmonic okay any generic harmonic component is going to be one thing maybe in uh, three phase transformer if you go through harmonics again okay three phase transformer harmonics if you go through automatically you will come to know about something about harmonic okay anyway like you know for three phase uh, rotating machine AC rotating machine triplin harmonic component need not be considered 
okay now for example even harmonic already in uh, three phase transfers we have seen even harmonic component need not be considered okay so in any machine like you know fundamental first will be there second is going to be even so need not be considered third is going to be triplen in uh, three phase machines triplen harmonic need not be considered fourth is going to be even so first harmonic component that has to be considered is going to be fifth harmonic component for that let us derive a generic rule like you know h harmonic component equal to for example n is the some integer integer and even harmonic component will not come so multiplied by 2 plus or minus 1 is going to be odd harmonic and in triplen house sorry in three phase machine triplen harmonic need not be considered so this is going to be m so m is going to be number of phases so number of phases is 3 so 2 into 3 6n plus or minus 1 is going to be the generic term for h harmonic component okay actually about the harmonic like you know people feel um, specialist in harmonics and all like you know yes we can analyze in detail and uh, i can give you the feel of what do you say harmonic component harmonics and all but let me keep it for detailed machine analysis but you will be able to solve the problem by this okay for example n equal to 1 6 minus 1 is going to be 5th harmonic component 6 plus 1 is going to be 7th harmonic component after that if i place n equal to 2 6 to 12 minus 1 11th harmonic component has to be considered in three phase machine plus 1 13th harmonic component has to be considered remaining all harmonics need not be considered in this just add one thing h of slot harmonics equal to 6n plus or minus 1 multiply here with number of uh, like you know slots per pole per phase okay just remember this in 6n plus or minus 1 anyway you have to remember i think you might know this and 6n q q is going to be slots per pole per phase try to remember that so this is going to be fundamentally like you know n equal to 1 in the sense dominating harmonic so 6 into 1 into how many number of slots per pole per phase 4 plus or minus 1 so 24 plus or minus 1 it is going to be 23rd harmonic and 25th harmonic components are going to be dominating here in the induced voltage because of slots.